Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa Muhammad. We praise Allah abundantly. We ask Allah to exalt the mention and grant peace to the Prophet Muhammad. So you smoke, do you? And you thought, or you continue to think it's cool. I agree. I felt this way for the longest time. There's a special sensation when you pull out a cigarette from your cigarette box and you put it in your mouth and you light it. There's a, a sensation that has to do with the enjoying the act, whatever leads to this act, then throughout the act and then there's a sensation after the act which, which usually leads you to smoke another cigarette. But that's not the issue. The issue is not on whether something is cool or not or feels good and makes us feel good or not. The issue is how good is this thing for us in the uh, short term and in the long run. Muslims have been blessed with the ability to look beyond the surface and we were not superficial in this manner uh, and that's why even though certain things are pleasurable to the son of Adam, Allah made them prohibited in order to elevate the status of this person and increase his chances to enter paradise. We would say had smoking not been such a grave sin and, and mark my words, it would have been something that we would somehow try to deal with and say it's not a big deal. Many good deeds will erase this, this bad deed. And inshallah, Allah is full of mercy and forgiving. All of this is true. But only when you know the implications of smoking, the harm it causes on multiple levels to yourself and to the people and the environment, then and only then you would understand why all the coolness which exists in smoking has been taken away and thrown in the ocean. Really, and even if someone went scuba diving to pick it up, they won't find it. It's completely gone because it stinks. Don't lie. No matter how much you fix it, even when you spray perfume afterwards, the mix of perfume and smoke is horrendous. It just doesn't smell nice. Um, you're basically putting in your body all types of foreign objects, chemicals that are harmful to your body. And this, this body of ours is a trust from Allah, which we're supposed to maintain. We are supposed to maintain our bodies. You're ruining your lungs. You've seen the black lungs of people that smoke for many years. You're increasing your chances of getting cancer. There isn't any other item in the world that has, you know, this, this product causes cancer, may cause death at an early age, except cigarettes. It's the only thing that is explicit in your face and people still do it. And then of course, it, it's harmful to other people. People that don't want to smoke, don't want to be around smoke. By you smoking, you're imposing on others harm and oppression. And Islam came to protect you and protect others. So when we engage in all of these sins, you're harming ourselves, you're wasting our money, we're damaging our body, we're harming other people, human beings, even animals in the environment, that's a lot of sins to look cool. So in reality, it's not cool. It's hot and it may lead to something that is way more hot, the hellfire, which we don't want and we cannot afford. I ask Allah to cleanse us and purify us and make us among those who do what is pleasing to him, even though we're going to compromise on what supposedly looks cool. This is Abu Mus'ab from SSTV. Hope to see you soon, inshallah.